Hey there, and welcome back to The Writing Theory. Today, we're looking at the most common world-building mistakes that make your world go from OMG to WTF in no time. What are they? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Number one, the blissfully unaware. There are vampires sucking the blood out of everything with an aortic pump, witches boiling children in the evenings, and demons hanging out at sleazy gas stations. And yet everyone seems blissfully unaware that these beings even exist. Animals are being abnormally torn to death? Wolves! Children keep going missing? That sounds like a them problem. Men and women of the clergy keep dying? Well, they were old and those cloisters sure are damp. Yep. No one sees the fantastical battles that have flames and explosions light up the night sky because every ordinary hard-working citizen is asleep at that time. No one was coming back from a late shift, skating practice, a flight, or a party. Destroyed buildings and mangled vehicles strewn throughout the city also aren't odd. It must have been the wind. Number two, the complacent masses. These people are usually one gigantic grey jello jiggler of humans who have a miserable and destitute existence with no hope for change and with no plans to do anything about it. They are usually ruled by an unseen iron fist and likewise unseen authority and live in such squalor that animals usually would have revolted ten times by now. They know enough math to calculate that they outnumber their despot ruler and unseen guards by 500 to 1, but decide not to do anything about it because their common characteristic is manic complacency. Just leave me here to die in peace. In a nutshell, they were wallflowers before wallflowers were cool. Number 3. The Blob If there's one thing that makes a kingdom or country stand out in the halls of history, it's being one humongous blob. The people of this kingdom trade, war, ally, and travel. However, by some miracle of biology, physics, and neurology, all the people of this kingdom are exactly the same. It's almost like the world's deity had a field day with the only cookie cutter they owned when creating races, morals, and mindsets. Everyone looks the same, speaks the same, acts the same, and behaves the same, unless, naturally, they're the bad guys. If anyone does try to break the mold in any way, they are automatically shunned by society and forced to leave the kingdom in search of another where they, you guessed it, fit right in. An additional characteristic of this unsightly blob is that they're the same because they never change. Come hell, high water, or supernatural cataclysm, they will remain unwavered in their traditions, beliefs, behavior, and laws. You can almost hear the collective blob sigh when they hear the news that everything went back to normal. Number 4. Unseen Authority There is authority in this world. You can feel it jumping off the page because the writer says so, but it has yet to be seen by anyone else. There are mentions of heads of state and their iron rule, but unless there is some kind of protest, royal event, or deus ex machina, you never see this authority in action. Want to see the king? What for? He's busy. Looking for a guard? Well, he's probably patrolling a street on the other side of this chapter. Looking for justice in court? Well, life sucks. Move on. Did you just see a soldier? Well, that must mean there's a war on because they're not necessary for anything else, silly. Number five, who the hell are you? Yeah, these people might share a border or two. They might trade. They might have even gone to war a couple of dozen times. But when someone from Kingdom A waltzes into Kingdom B after taking the wrong carriage, everyone is in utter shock. Who the hell is this stranger who has come from a foreign land with a foreign tongue and odd outfit? Why do they not fit into our homogeneous blob of a kingdom? This kind of event is usually immediately followed by collective amnesia because more often than not, when a similar sort of thing happens again, the response is much the same. Number 6. Magical Magic Systems Magic is by definition magical. And that should be that. Yes, wizards and mages study the fine arts of magic for years, if not decades, but that doesn't mean it has rules, it just means it's complicated. It's like math or science, except without the rules, because cool and convenient are the only things that magic really needs to be. The amount of magic you can use, and how you will use it, will vary from scene to scene because the writer said so. Also, magic isn't real, so how could you expect the writer to make up any rules for it anyway? I mean, who needs consequences of using magic or any obstacles or barriers to use it? 
It almost makes you wonder why magic systems with no rules are one of the most hated fantasy tropes. Hmm. Number seven, familiar alien. This alien world is full of planets, stars, and races you've never heard of. You can take part in intergalactic travel on various spacecraft, mine asteroids for unknown minerals, and battle other races with futuristic weapons. All of this naturally happens in a physical, chemical, and mathematical world that is exactly like Earth. Gravity, much like a magnet, attaches itself to characters and follows them around no matter where they are or what they're doing. The oxygen that every race seems to need and breathe in the same way does much the same thing. Actually, they're all kind of the same outside of their appearance. Uh, oh no, wait, uh, it's uh, written down here that they're alien. My bad, so it must be true. Number eight. Medieval misery. Medieval times, whether in fantasy or in reality, were bleak. Everyone was dirty and had rotting teeth because everyone also lacked a sense of smell and common sense. Life was hard and everyone around died every five minutes for one reason or another. Any type of color was invented only for the rich and general cleanliness was also only for the rich since the common folk were ridiculously suspicious of wash basins, brooms, and water in general. What the hell is this? Rags were all the rage among the common folk since they didn't have eyesight or a sense of decency and continuously walked around in clothes that looked like they had been pulled out from beneath a millstone. Even the heavens participate in this collective drudgery and decide that the general weather will always be wet, cold, and gray. It's really no wonder that there's little love or happiness in this world. If a child dies, everyone is sad, but they will also tell you that they told you so. If a child lives, everyone rejoices by putting it to back-breaking work. Love is found outside of marriage because these two concepts go together like oil and water, but then again, finding love will get you into a huge siege tower of trouble anyway because obviously we can't have any happiness going on up in this medieval house. After all, it doesn't matter what you do, you'll always be poor and hopeless. Number nine, infrastructure potholes. One of the things that operates quite magically outside of magic is infrastructure. Traveling by carriage, horse, pod racer, dragon, car, or God forbid by foot? No need to even care how you're going somewhere because you'll get there as fast as the story needs you to. Don't worry about far off lands or oceans that need crossing. In the world of stories, you can get anywhere in 24 hours if you have to. Transport in this world is also ridiculously reliable because everyone in this world is a mechanic and every mode of transport is in mint condition. There's no traffic, the roads are in great condition and safe to use, and it never rains or snows. To curb potential jealousy, characters will still complain about how hard it is to travel nowadays. So those are the most common world-building mistakes. Do any of them look oddly familiar? If they do, try to think about how things work in the real world and maybe add some rules or limitations and make your world-building a little bit better. If you're still having trouble with your world-building, get in touch and I'll be happy to help you out. If you have any more questions about world-building, then feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Also, if you liked this video and found it useful, consider giving it a big old thumbs up and subscribing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, keep on telling your story. No, is that a pigeon? That's a pigeon. That's two pigeons, hold on. Number one, I forgot. Or that animals would have revisited. If there's one thing that makes a can, can, ah! behaviors, traditions, beliefs, behavior, and law. Why can't I remember this? This why is it so hard? Number six, magical magic systems. It's like math or science, except without the rules. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? You can take part in intergalactic... Oh God, brooms, I forgot brooms, okay. Love is always found side, found side, found side, found side, so found side. Why do I make it sound like infrastructure potholes are sexy?